Hello dear YouTube family and welcome back to Liftoff. As usual, we always keep you updated with the very latest news about space and SpaceX. Today's episode will be about SpaceX launching their new Falcon Heavy rocket into orbit. Stay tuned. Falcon Heavy is a partially reusable heavy lift launch vehicle designed and manufactured by SpaceX. It is derived from the Falcon 9 vehicle and consists of a strengthened Falcon 9 first stage and the center core with two additional Falcon 9 first stages serving as strap-on boosters. Falcon Heavy has the highest payload capacity of any currently operational launch vehicle and the third highest capacity of any rocket ever to reach orbit, trailing the Saturn V and Energia. SpaceX conducted Falcon Heavy's maiden launch on the 6th of February 2018 at a quarter to nine UTC. The rocket carried a Tesla Roadster belonging to SpaceX founder Elon Musk with a dummy dubbed Starman in the driver's seat as a dummy payload. The second Falcon Heavy launch occurred on 11th of April 2019 and all three booster rockets successfully returned to Earth. The third Falcon Heavy launch successfully occurred on the 25th of June 2019. Since then, Falcon Heavy has been certified for the National Security Space Launch Program. Falcon Heavy was designed to be able to carry humans into space beyond low Earth orbit. Although, as of February 2018, SpaceX does not intend to transport people on the Falcon Heavy, nor pursue the human-rated certification process to transport NASA astronauts. Both Falcon Heavy and Falcon 9 will eventually be superseded by the in-development Starship launch system. The Falcon Heavy design is based on Falcon 9's fuselage and engines. By 2008, SpaceX had been aiming for the first launch of Falcon 9 in 2009. While Falcon Heavy would be in a couple of years, speaking at the 2008 Mars Society conference, Musk also indicated that he expected a hydrogen fueled upper stage would follow two to three years later, which would have been around 2013. By April 2011, the capabilities and performance of the Falcon 9 vehicle were better understood. SpaceX having completed two successful demonstration missions to low Earth orbit, one which included reignition of the second stage engine. Falcon Heavy would carry more payload to orbit or escape velocity than any vehicle in history, apart from the Saturn V moon rocket and Soviet Energy Air rocket. In the same year, with the expected increase in demand for both variants, SpaceX announced plans to expand manufacturing capacity as we build towards the capability of producing a Falcon 9 first stage or Falcon Heavy side booster every week and an upper stage every two weeks. In 2015, SpaceX announced a number of changes to the Falcon Heavy rocket, which worked in parallel to upgrade the Falcon 9 V11 launch vehicle. In December 2016, SpaceX released a photo showing the Falcon Heavy interstage at the company headquarters in Hawthorne, California. Falcon Heavy consists of a structurally strengthened Falcon 9 as the core component. Falcon Heavy has more lift capacity than any other operational rocket with a payload of 63,800 kilograms to low Earth orbit, 26,700 kilograms to geostationary transfer orbit and 16,800 kilograms to trans-Mars injection. The rocket was designed to meet or exceed all current requirements of human rating. The structural safety margins are 40% above flight loads, higher than the 25% margins of other rockets. Falcon Heavy was designed from the outset to carry humans into space and would restore the possibility of flying crewed missions to the moon or Mars. The first stage is powered by three Falcon 9 derived cores, each equipped with nine Merlin 1D engines. The Falcon Heavy has a total sea level thrust at liftoff of 22.82 mega newtons. From the 27 Merlin 1D engines, while thrust rises to 24.68 mega newton as the craft climbs out of the atmosphere. The upper stage is powered by a single Merlin 1D engine modified for vacuum operations with a thrust of 934 kilonewton, an expansion ratio of 117 to 1 and a nominal burn time of 397 seconds. At launch, the center core throttles to full power for a few seconds for additional thrust, then throttles down. This allows a longer burn time. After the side boosters separate, the center core throttles back up to maximum thrust. 
For added reliability of restart, the engine has dual redundant pyrophoric igniters. The interstage, which connects the upper and lower stages for Falcon 9, is a carbon fiber aluminum core composite structure. The stage separation occurs via reusable separation and a mnemonic pusher system. The Falcon 9 tank walls and domes are made from aluminium lithium alloy. SpaceX uses all friction stir wielded tanks. The second stage tank of Falcon 9 is simply a shorter version of the first tank and uses most of the same tooling, materials and manufacturing techniques. This approach reduces manufacturing cost during vehicle production. SpaceX's Falcon Heavy hasn't been launched since June 2019, though it's expected to launch multiple military payloads into high altitude geosynchronous orbit for the USSF-44 mission. The orbit altitudes route is set for over 22,000 miles above the equator and will include a flight profile set to last over five hours between each burn, which lands this mission a spot as one of SpaceX's most hardware intensive launches yet. Falcon Heavy now has at least five missions, half of the rocket's entire manifest that will likely be ready to launch in 2022. First up, Originally scheduled to launch in late 2020, early 2021, mid-2021 and late 2021, unspecified payload issues recently delayed Falcon Heavy's USSF-44 launch to Q1 of 2022. Assuming no further delays, which seems an unwise gamble at this point in time, USSF-44 will be SpaceX and Falcon Heavy's first operational US military launch and first direct geostationary launch. A mission profile that requires the rocket's upper stage to coast for six hours through multiple radiation bolts before reigniting 36,000 kilometers above the Earth. If USSF-44 slips a few more months, though, then Viasat-3 would become SpaceX's first direct GEO launch, as well as the first commercial direct-to-GEO launch ever in Q2 2022. Headed to an easier geostationary transfer orbit, USSF-52 is also scheduled to launch on Falcon Heavy in Q2 2022, though delays to it and USSF-44 are equally likely. Fourth in line, Falcon Heavy is scheduled to launch NASA's Psyche Asteroid Explorer during a few week window in August 2022 marking the first of at least three NASA missions set to exploit the most capable and cost-effective deep space commercial launch vehicle in history. What challenges the company may face? Tell us your opinion in the comment section down below. If you are new here and want to see more videos about space and SpaceX, Elon Musk included, as well as technology, subscribe to Liftoff and hit the notification button. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.